In this video, I'll show you how to create this image reveal effect, primarily using Unicorn Studio and Framer. I'll jump a little bit into Midjourney and Photoshop as well, but those are not requirements for this tutorial. Before we start, I wanna show where the inspiration came from. If you go to the new Lando Norris website, uh, which was designed and built by Offbrand, and this hero section has a really fluid hover interaction when you hover over his face, it reveals his really cool designed helmet. Before we jump into Unicorn Studio, I needed to create the two assets. I needed a person and then that person wearing a mask. Um, I jumped into Mid Journey, created a couple different iterations, I ended up with this woman here with these bedazzled jewels and earrings. Um, and then I also created different iterations with helmets and brought those into Photoshop so that I could, one, extend the cropped off forehead and get her hair, and then I overlaid the helmet image, masked that out, added a little bit of a shadow, so now I have essentially, and scaled that properly, the face and then the helmet as two different images. Then when we jump into Unicorn Studio, I'm gonna have a blank project here, and I'll import my first image, which are already in the assets here, add it to the canvas, fit to artboard, and that's our first image. In the effect, um, I made this one a black and white as a default. So the way we do that is if we go to the effects panel, uh, add gradient map, and that's a black and white. And then if you adjust the phase, you can kind of change you know, where the black point and white point are in the image. And that gets us pretty close there. Let's add our second image, which is the helmet reveal. Add that to the canvas, click fit to artboard, and now that's scaled up properly. And here we'll add first our mouse trail of effect, which will reveal the background. So if we put this in here now and I hover over it, it just has this fluid kind of uh, glitchy chromatic aberration effect. Um, and that's not exactly what we're looking for here. So the first thing we we're gonna do in the right panel under effect type is we'll go down to reveal background and change the scale to zero and change the background opacity to zero as well. So if I hover over this now, you can start to see um, that it's revealing the background image at, on hover. We need to play around with these settings a bit so you can do these all to taste. I'm just gonna take the radius down. Uh, let's boost up the strength, the hardness. I'm going around 20. And again, these are all variable. The tail is the one that kind of matters the most because this is how long it stays on before it fades away. So I, I like that one a little higher at around like 89, 90%. Let's put up the fluidity and dissipation. I want that one higher. Chromatic aberration, turn that up a little bit. Momentum, actually turn that up some more. And, you know, that's getting us pretty close to the mock-up. Um, it doesn't have the color effect that I had, but it's doing the essential hover to reveal the helmet. So I'm going to rename that layer mouse reveal. All right, and now let's add another mouse effect, which will be the pixelation. So if we jump back over to see the example, there's a little bit of a pixelation effect happening here, and that's from the other mouse trails. Going back into Chrome. So clicking on that mouse trail, change the effect type to pixelate. And from here, We'll want to, uh, let's adjust the scale, kind of want that those pixelation effects or kind of cubes to be a bit larger. So I'm going 70%. Let's take the radius down. I, I like this effect to be a bit more subtle. So I take the tail down, fluidity, dissipation, chromatic, aberration. Let's go to about 40. And that gets us pretty close to the effect. All right. And I'll rename that layer to pixelate. And then we just need to add our color effect. So again, I'm using a gradient map for this. You can play around with whichever colors you wanna use. I'm just gonna pick one of these for now. 
And instead of going to blue, I'm going to have this go to black. All right. And you get really, really interesting effects here. And I had a hard time narrowing down the colors I wanted to use, but in the end, I really liked the black and white to start and then revealing the helmet as this cool neon like effect. So the way we can adjust this now is I, I use the phase to get me closer to the black point in that gradient. And now when we hover, it's going to the purples and oranges in the gradient. And you can again, adjust these. If we want this to be maybe more green, you know, it gives you a bit more control. So that's getting us pretty close. Um, feel free to, you know, play around with all the different effects, but that's essentially the gist of this. And then to embed this into a framer site, you simply go to export, embed. Uh, I'll publish the site again, and you'll want to copy the embed code and we'll go back to Framer. I'll show you the setup for this Framer project. I have a hero section background with this unicorn embed already embedded. So once you copy that code and paste, it adds a component. And in that component, you need to paste in your project ID. So if we come back into unicorn, it's listed right here as project ID. You copy that, paste it in, and then it's embedded into the Framer site. Click play. We have it right here, nice and fluid. Yeah, so that's essentially the effect. Um, let me know in the comments if you have any questions about it. Really great work from Off Brand. Love that Lando Norris site. Had a lot of fun building this and looking forward to seeing what other people make in the community.